Blue viewers will be going over you guys and D guys. In this video, we'll be using the day by day probability model as our supporting resistance levels. And these models are based on past trends that are similar to the current trend, but not identical. So do keep that in mind. So let's start off with the technical analysis for you guys. Today we're up 4.7% on the one hour chart. We were we were at overbought RSI on Monday and Tuesday. We have now starting to approach to positive MACD. And if we extend that further onto the four hour chart, we also see the same action on the four hour MACD. We have now reached to positive MACD. We have not quite reached overbought RSI yet. And there's slight concern with the uptrend right here. We have the nine moving average diverging onto the 18 day moving average, the blue and purple line respectively. As for the daily chart, we'll be using the day by day probability model as our support and resistance levels. And as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 20% chance for you guys to climb higher between zero to 34%. And on the extreme case, we have a 34% or 13% chance for you guys to climb higher between 34 to 69%. And to the downside, we have a 33% chance for you guys to fall between zero to negative 34. And for the extreme case, we have a 33% chance for it to fall between negative 34 to negative 69. So the ranges among the standard deviation is quite large. So we'll be using DGAS for its ranges on the support and resistance levels. So we'll be using up, say, 17% and down 17%. So for you guys, if you guys were to climb higher up, say, 17%, that price level is roughly around $11.10. And we encounter a previous support level around that range there as well. And since we're below support, that now act as our resistance. And now for to the downside, if you guys were to fall 17%, that price level is roughly around $7.69. So now let's examine DGAS. DGAS is currently down 4.7% on the one hour chart. We start to see it was touching over sold RSI on Monday and Tuesday, and we start to see a slight divergence still in a negative MACD. As for the four hour chart, we have now start, we are still approaching to negative MACD. We have not quite reached there yet. And as for the daily chart, we starting to see a divergence after touching overbought RSI last week. So now back to DGAS, as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 14% chance for DGAS to climb higher between zero to 17%. And for the extreme case to the upside, we have a 14% chance for DGAS to climb between 17% to 34% in more, most extreme case. To the upside, we have a 14% chance for it to climb higher between 33 to 51%. And to the downside, we have a 57% chance for it to fall between zero to negative 17%. We'll just use up 17% and down 17% as our support and resistance level for DGAS. So if DGAS were to climb higher up say 17%, that price level is roughly around $501.06. And to the downside for DGAS 17%, that price level is roughly around $351.35. And one could say there were previous resistance levels around that range as well. And since we're above resistance, that now act as our support. And let's examine closer on the underlying asset UNG and on the daily chart we start to see a slight reversal I wouldn't bet on it for sure we just see a convergence on the daily MACD and we have not seen a strong indication that the reversal is in play we are still encountering resistance around the 18 day moving average this purple line so in this video, we went over UGAS and DGAS as well as U UNG. And the models are now available in the link below. So do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.